guys from Barbara and welcome to my Keto Jelly channel. I will not tell you that after I will go to the gym because maybe you already guess it, but I will tell you that today we are going to prepare something special. It's not my recipe, it's Robbie's recipe and it's dedicated to this special person. I'm going to prepare his black kale pesto sauce. So, Thank you, Robbie, because your recipe is truly amazing. Let's go together to the kitchen to prepare this dish. And here is everything you will need, just a few ingredients as usual. You will need 350 grams of black kale, that is this one. 15 grams of Brazilian nuts, salt, powdered garlic if you like it and about 80 grams of extra virgin olive oil. The first thing we have to do is to take out the inner stem, the one in the middle of our black kale leaves. This is a quite boring job, so I will put it faster. Thanks to the computer, I can do it four times faster than in real life. I wanted to tell you this because you must be a little bit patient, maybe put on some music in your kitchen and clean your black kale. This is a very good sauce, it's delicious and it's totally worth it. I will use this time to talk about veggies and carbohydrates because as you probably already know all vegetables contain also carbohydrates this is the reason why we cannot eat most of the fruit because uh, fructose is a sugar and it's too much in fruit but we can eat uh, vegetables, so we are lucky because we will have all the nutrients with less carbohydrates, but still they have some, so I will help you to choose wisely. It's always a good idea to choose green vegetable. The color is important. So buy green ones and vegetables that grow above ground. So no potatoes, no carrots, and you will be sure that those vegetables will be also ketogenic. Now I will give you a list of the 10 most common vegetables that are the best choice on a keto diet. This list is made by the famous diet doctor. So number one, cauliflower. Number two, cabbage. Number three, the symbol of a ketogenic diet, the avocado, that technically is a fruit, but we use them like a vegetable, so it's here. Cauliflower, cabbage, avocado, now number four, broccoli, number five, zucchini, number six, spinach, then asparagus, kale, and I will put here also our delicious black kale, then green beans, that it's the only legumes that is allowed on a ketogenic diet, so pay attention because legumes are forbidden, but you can eat green beans. And finally, Brussels sprouts. But let's go back to our recipe. After cleaning all our black kale leaves, it's time to boil them. So we will add some water to our pot and we will put it at high heat on our fire. I don't have the fire <laughs> on our heater. If you cover your pot, it will boil so much faster, but then get sure that all the leaves are submerged into water because they must become softer. After a few minutes, it's no problem at all. As you can see, they are ready to be blended. Yes, blended, exactly. But before doing that, we must take out as much water as possible because we don't want a watery sauce. Oh, come change my life. 
After putting the black kale into the blender, we can add the Brazilian nuts, then the powdered garlic, but you can use also a garlic clove, the salt and finally our extra virgin olive oil. Don't worry about the oil because it's the most ketogenic ingredient made by 100% of fat. And here it is, everything is blended together and this is an amazing sauce. So now I will put them in individual portion. Individual is just for all the family. We will use it in four different times. Probably together with a filet mignon or some chicken, grilled chicken. This tastes amazing with meat, I think, but you can try also with fish because uh, there is no cheese inside, so it will be a great sauce also for fish. The good news is that you can frozen this sauce. You can keep it three days into your fridge or three months into your freezer. And to do so, I highly recommend you to put a layer of extra virgin olive oil on top. So it will not oxidate and also it will be more creamy when you defrozen it. As you can see from the video, I'm using a little spoon to push all the sauce underneath the olive oil. In this way, it will be fresh and good as long as possible. What do you think about this vibrant green? I think this sauce is not only delicious and easy to prepare, but also beautiful. I really hope you like today's recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. So we will meet here every Monday at 2 o'clock Italian time with another ketogenic video in English, but also on Wednesday at the same time with the same video but in Spanish and on Friday in Italian. See you next week and thank you all! Today the recipe was amazing, but also the final walk is truly special. So I highly recommend you to watch till the end because we are in Vaxholm, not in Stockholm anymore. We are one hour by boat from Stockholm or 45 minutes by bus. And this is truly a lovely place. Vaxholm is not only the name of this little and cute town, but also the name of the little island where it's built on. In fact, we are in Stockholm Archipelago. In front of the little Vaxholm island, there is also a smaller island where you can visit a castle. This castle was built in 16th century to protect Stockholm and it's really beautiful. You can go even inside. The view is amazing and the castle too. There is also a museum. I couldn't go there because it's winter time. So if you come here, maybe it's better in spring or summer time. But despite the cold, the ice floating on the sea, I was so lucky because I enjoyed a beautiful sunset in this lovely island. So as you can see from my face, I was frozen <laughs> because it was truly, truly cold, but the sunset was totally worth it. So you can come here at any season. In Vaxholm, as you can see, there are many well-preserved wooden houses from the end of last century. They are beautiful. And also a lot of restaurants, bars, so you can have a walk, maybe do some shopping and enjoy the stunning nature. 
it's so strange to be here now because I was here in summertime. I was on my bikini and swimming in the water. So now seeing this ice floating, but as you can see from my video, it's time to go home. I hope you enjoyed this place, this walk, and I hope to see you here on my channel next week. Stay for a while or forever oh. Come change my life Let's go for a ride Outside the club We come alive Let's go for a ride yeah. Yeah. I wanna get to know you I don't wanna leave so soon You and me forever Or maybe just for tonight Do you wanna get to know me I will give it all to you You and me forever